Hello everyone. This video is about custom hooks in ReactJS. Okay, to clear the concept of custom hooks. First of all, the hooks. Okay, the hooks are reusable function in ReactJS. And the custom hooks, we use the custom hooks. Uh, for example, there is a logic of code and we need that code to write in more than one component. For example, we have three, four or five components and there is a logic a code a concept that we need to write in every component so instead of writing the same logic in every component we use the custom hook to prevent the reuse of code so custom hook will help us to prevent the reuse of code and write clean code and maintainable code okay we don't need to repeat the code in every component so for that we are creating a custom hook where we can call from every component and we will prevent the reuse and the repeat of same code so let's do it okay through an example so i will show you you will this concept will be clear for you okay let's clear it through an example for example we would like to fetch data from this api okay for example these to do's data i want to fetch this data and display the data in this component so for that first of all i will write to you the code of fetching the data from that to do then i will show you how to create the custom hook so let's start so first of all just come here and i will use the use effect hook and this use effect hook i will just fetch the code okay all right dependency here i will fetch that uh, data okay i will use fetch api and here we will write the url just come here to the to do's url copy this url this is json placeholder api which will help us okay to test our application this is a fake rest api so after pitching the data so dot then it will give us the data so let's change this data to json format dot then we will store this data somewhere so for that we will create a variable const we will use use state hook for that this data is variable set data is method to update this data so let's update our uh, uh, data variable so for that again we will get the data and let's use call set data and we will just pass data to that let's assign to this for example null so what it will do it will store the to do's inside this data variable so now let's print this data so to print the data for that let's write curly braces and here i will write data if there was data inside the data so we will use data dot map function okay so here we will get an item and here we will print the data in div element okay just come here here we will assign a key and item dot id is the key and here we will print the data which is a title okay we will just print the title item dot title so let's save it and now let's move to the browser so let's run our application control back tick and write npm run view so it will run our react app so let's move to this url let's open it so here we have the to do's okay these are the to do's that we fetch from this api like first one is delete at autumn okay the second one so these are okay the, the to do's that we pitched but for example we have a second component okay we have a second component in that component we want to pitch okay we want to pitch the data of this api okay this post data okay we want to pitch the post data so for that again we need to write the same code like this code okay so to use the pitch api to pitch the data and then print that data so instead of writing this code again and again we are using the custom hook okay to prevent this reuse of code so for that let's create a custom hook now so to prevent the repeat repetition of uh, code so to create the custom hook for that we need uh, let's first of all i will create a components folder and for creating custom hook we need to add a prefix which is use like here we have use state use effect hook so for custom hook we will add this use uh, keyword so let's create that and we will name it use fetch that jsx let's rename it jsx 
so this is our custom hook now here we will implement the logic of this use effect hook okay this fetch api okay to print the data so let's write here const use fetch and here we will pass url so we will pass just the url where we are calling this use fetch hook inside this let's create a variable assign null to this now here we will implement the use effect hook let's copy the same this code okay and also remove this one because we don't need now this code let's paste it here and here we will add url okay so it will it will call whenever we call this use effect uh, use fetch hook so it will update it will call this use effect whenever we update this url it means that whenever we pass a new url so it will update this code for us it will call this fetch api so instead of this now we will use the url okay, we will just paste the url here and let's import this use effect hook also and here we will return the data so we will return this data okay which we have stored okay we have stored our data then fetch data inside this variable so now at the last we will return this data variable now let's export it default use fetch so let's save it now let's come here to the app and let's import it we don't need this use state use effect and here let's import a use fetch so after importing use fetch now let's use it so to use it const let's write here data so we, it will give us the data and here we will call use fetch and we will pass url to that let's pass our url to do let's paste it so let's save it now let's try it what happened okay so let's move to the browser again let's refresh it so again we have our data that is why okay if we need now for example let's create another component like home dot like posts okay posts.jsx rafce and here we want to print the data so to print the data for that let's first of all copy this code we want to print the posts okay paste the code here and also let's copy this line also because it is the same code i will show don't worry okay i will show to you everything and explain it to you so now instead of uh, using this url we will use posts url this one let's copy that It here so what it will do now we have two components here we pitch the to do's data and here we pitch the posts data so instead of using this code okay if, if we didn't use the um, custom hook so we needed to use this code in every component so okay this code all this code we needed to uh, write in every component so we prevented this okay so we used it once and uh, use it again we write it once and use it again and again in more than one place so it's how we can use the custom hooks now we we can use this custom hook in 5 10 15 components okay wherever we need to fetch the data instead of that we are just calling this hook and we will get the data so now let's print the posts data also so just come here to the app.jsx um, here down from this posts here i will prevent print posts let's call here posts save it yeah, yeah that is okay let's come here now our react app let's come here see posts and this is the data of posts so that's how we can use custom hooks to prevent the repeat of code in more than one components okay so this is custom hook that we have created and we have used it in two components so i hope you learned all about the custom hooks so if you got and learned this concept so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel code with yusuf thanks for watching